This video will present you the dismantling and fitting operations of a clutch on a truck. Here are the generic tools you will need to operate a successful fitting operation safely. Your kit is composed of three components, the pressure plate cover assembly, the driven plate and the mechanical release bearing. Before moving out the gearbox, you will have some operations to disengage the release bearing and the fork from the clutch. Please note that depending on vehicle brands, opening of gearbox may be different. First, use the camshaft rotator from your vehicle manufacturer to rotate the flywheel. This operation will make the hooking ring on the pressure plate cover assembly easily accessible. Enter the clamp by the gearbox trap and clip it to the hooking ring. Snap off the release bearing and the lever arm. You can now unscrew the gearbox screws. move out the gearbox to access the whole clutch parts. The centering tool prevents the driven plate from falling down. First, unscrew two screws of the pressure plate cover assembly and install two fitting pins. Then unscrew the pressure plate cover assembly according to the correct order. Disassemble of the driven plate. Use a disengagement tool to take out the pilot bearing. We recommend changing the pilot bearing each time you change the clutch kit for safety. Check that there is no grease around the flywheel. Clean the flywheel. Start your fitting operation by the new pilot bearing. Fix again the centering tool to prevent the driven plate from falling. Make sure that the driven plate splines fit to the gearbox axis before fitting. Install the driven plate. and the pressure plate cover assembly.
unscrew lightly the pressure plate cover assembly first. Remove the two fitting pins and put again the two screws. Screw again the two bottom screws and check centering on the flywheel. You may check the tightening torque according to manufacturer recommendations. We strongly recommend not using an impact driver. It may damage the thread. Tighten the screws of the pressure plate cover assembly in correct order by using your torque wrench. When finished, remove the four shipping clips of pressure plate cover assembly. Then remove the centering tool. Before replacing your release bearing, you have to disassemble the fork. Change of your fork may be needed depending on your vehicle mileage or forks seizing. You can now access the release bearing and remove it safely. Check that there is no grease leak on the tube guide and clean the tube guide with solvent and sandpaper if necessary. In case fork axle is seized up, add some grease to fork seating axle. Fit the new release bearing. Tighten the fork with torque wrench. Check that fork axle condition is good. If needed, you may change the fork. Close the gearbox housing and tighten its screws. Snap on the new release bearing with the clamp. Check carefully that hooking ring needles are correctly centered. Ensure to close the gearbox trap to prevent the gearbox housing from dust contamination. After fitment of the clutch for a vehicle with automatic transmission, it is mandatory to reset the system with the right reinitialization diagnostic tool. After reinitialization, you may have a driving test of your vehicle. Do you know that Vallejo supplies one OE truck clutch out of two in Europe? Finally, do you know Vallejo provides clutches for Euro 6 applications for manual and robotized gearboxes? Find all your clutch kits in our catalogue and tech dock.